Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to uh, see how we can build an end-to-end -end pipeline for question answering use case. And uh, in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can design a pipeline uh, so that we will be able to kind of carry out the important piece of information and finally how to construct an entire sequence of uh, question answering model basically. So uh, first of all, I would like to walk you through the design which I have prepared. So this is a high level design in which we can structure out some important piece of information and uh, this is not necessarily the ultimate design, it's just a thought process which came to my mind in structuring a pipeline for question answering at a high level of course. So uh, we have this four sections called data source, question, query search, document ranking and finally the question answering piece. So first of all, what exactly is coming under the data source aspect? So this is the this is the place where we need to structure out the data which we are going to use for our uh, problem statement. So suppose we need to carry out some important piece of information from some uh, confidential reports, and that's the target source which we are going to look into. So if that's the case, then our entire data source is uh, restricted to this reports basically or if it's a very generic piece of information which we need to pull every single time so then we may have to actually look into the websites similarly like if we are going to pull it from wikipedia or any other custom sources which we are uh, working through in our companies so that is the that is the final data source which we need to target into so first of all we need to define the data source which we we are going to look into and how to query out or like how we can pull some data or how we can connect to that particular data is what we need to establish so that's where we need to understand how we can build the entire sequence so if we are going to utilize reports then we need to have a report passing module wherein like we are we are able to kind of provide some reports and it's actually pulling it from there or if it's some websites then we need to have a crawler a module wherein like it it pulls all these websites and web links from different uh, target uh, sources basically so these are some of the things which we need to look into when it comes to the data source element and once we have the data source element finalized like then we need to look into how we can uh, structure out the question or like how are we going to pull the data or what what are we trying to pull basically from all these sources because uh, if we are not defining the question or the search intent or the search query very structural like we need to structure out that particular uh, search intent or else what happens is like uh, we are actually shooting in the dark we will not be able to even get proper results for the question which we are looking into so in that aspect uh, we may have to first identify what are the top keywords in that particular question and what is the intent of that question which is extremely important because even if the keywords are there if you are not understanding the intent of that question sometimes the uh, answers can go wrong basically so if it is more comprising of what exactly is the intent behind the question so these are the two elements which are extremely important like first of all we need to identify what are the top keywords in that particular question or the search query and what is the intent behind that intent of that question so now once we have that identified or once we have a system to extract all these information then we go into the document ranking part and this is the portion where we need to identify how we can rank the data so we have the data source and this data source will be maybe like sometimes it may be huge or like there will be a lot of uh, uh, sentences uh, paragraphs and so and so so it, it, it often get trickier when we are looking at a, a huge data source to pull the data because uh, maybe the models will get confused by looking at this enormous amount of data so to make the job easier we need to rank the data source actually so uh, for that may we can use something like uh, some approaches like keyword uh, based approaches are there then contextual approaches are there 
so uh, like frequency based embeddings like tf idf uh, contextualized vectors so like uh, we can use based on our context and based on the entire uh, what to say the entire structure or the complexity we can choose which document ranking algorithm which we have to use maybe we can even use knowledge graphs so these are some of the techniques which we can actually use to rank the data and that makes the job easier to the final module actually like and for the, in the final module we are actually implementing a transformer q a model wherein it directly pulls in from the top uh, ranked articles or like top ranked sentences so that it's it's the job is pretty easier or like what happens is directly if we jump into the question answering model then it becomes trickier at times like sometimes it definitely works nowadays the models are extremely good so sometimes it works but there are high chance that it can fail so it's always better to have this kind of a pipeline and a structure to sequence out this entire problem of question answer so having said we'll look into the aspects one by one and how we can kind of build a question answering pipeline so in this particular example i'm going to uh, extract some or like i'm going to build uh, by keeping the data source as uh, wikipedia so uh, let's build a very generic question answering system wherein if i ask a question it pulls the data from wikipedia and give give to me like uh, that exact answer or the query which i am i'm looking for so that's that's the intent of this uh, tutorial and uh, first of all i am choosing the data source as wikipedia so to choose uh, so uh, to query out the data from wikipedia we have a library called wikipedia and which we can actually use it so wikipedia uh, library is there in pypy repository we can download it and we will be able to get the content pictures thumbnails and so and so and it's it's a very useful package actually and uh, as i discussed in the diagram there is a portion where we need to extract the key keywords and intent of the question basically so here i am uh, extracting the keywords top keywords from the question using a package called rake there are other packages as well but i am using something called rake algorithm wherein uh, we are actually looking at the top keywords in that uh, particular question so for that there is a function which i have written so like uh, if we just run this and so i'm just going to type a question here so who is billy elish so this is my question and uh, let's see what what are the what is the keyword which is being pulled by the rake so rake actually pulled the keyword billy elish so uh so this is this is the this is the kind of uh, extraction possible using this rake algorithm so rake algorithm will kind of pull the important so i have already written here so it automatically converts into lower case then it imp extract important key, key phrases and finally it extract even the combination of words it's not just pulling uh, just words but it will extract the key phrases which is extremely important often times when we use some other techniques it it will it will just pull the what to say uh, it will just pull the words and keywords just the word single word but uh, not necessarily to be a key phrase but in this case it 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 gave me when i asked the question who is billy elish it didn't pull billy and elish separate but it pulled billy elish uh, together which is good and there are some other algorithms like rake actually which which can be used for this and this is the first step in which we are kind of uh, extracting the important keywords i am not saying keyword like maybe we can phrase it like key phrases so if i am asking like uh, uh, the godfathers of deep learning then godfathers and deep learning will be the subject basically or the key phrases so that becomes useful actually to kind of uh, uh, understand and to query out the important data which we need so and it becomes very important when it comes to a lengthy query basically so uh, this is this one of the important step and once we have this query uh, the next thing is we need to collect some data regarding this keyword so uh, we can definitely use wikipedia and there is a, a function which i have written for it so 
if I'm giving so in the keyword list we have Billy Eilish right now and if I'm running this particular command so ideally in this function what's happening so I'm just uh, joining what all keywords so let's say if there are multiple keywords it will join in a in a form of a string and it will actually use wikipedia dot search function to search this uh, data and it will pull top five results from there and then i am looping through this wiki pages uh, variable and i am actually extracting the data and finally it's being appended and i am limiting the word length to five to like i'm just uh, I'm just cut shorting it into so like thousand characters. So just want to make sure like we are not exceeding um, Yeah, we are we are not exceeding the token limit of but so I am just cut shorting it into like total thousand characters here. And once we have this so if I'm just printing the information then we have some piece of information. So uh, It's it's about Billy Eilish and let's see what are pages it got extracted so it, it checked for pages like billy eilish billy eilish discography bad guy so it's a song by billy eilish happier than ever yeah again yeah. so these are some of the information and this is the original data and uh, so this is the entire data and from here uh, it, it extracted i think uh, yeah so we are just cutting some information so the next step or the third step is so we have the data also from the data source now against that keyword so it it becomes extremely important like whenever we have a question we need to get the data re related to that then only we'll be able to ask a question and we'll be able to pull the information so now we completed uh, both the steps and the third step is how to rank this data how to rank this entire uh, data source. so like it will be very difficult if we are directly applying the question answering a model to the entire piece of data but it will be very easy if we target the search into specific information and if we are confident that we are asking the question to a particular piece of text which contains the data then it's extremely good like that's that's a win-win scenario so now let's uh, apply an algorithm called bm25 so it it's it's more like a frequency based technique so you can also use embedding based techniques to rank the data or knowledge graphs or like some advanced techniques like that so uh, here i am actually using bm25 bm25 is extremely uh, faster but it's still frequency based and not uh, contextualized or embed uh, contextualized meaning based so if at all like we need to get more performance we can s still use uh, a good uh, what to say uh, ranking algorithm wherein like we'll be able to kind of rank it much uh, better than bn25 but bn25 is also a good algorithm so once we have this uh, document ranking so all that it does is it, it if we give the corpus into this uh, bm25 it will automatically rank it based on the keyword frequency and so and so and there is a, a function behind bm 2 file like which we can explore like it's 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 a it's a straightforward algorithm which we can implement we we don't even have to even call the mo module actually we can directly implement using the definition so once we run this document ranking then what happens is it 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 actually rank the data so if we see here like it it ranked and uh, it ranked based on so i'm giving the uh, limit as three that means it's ranking top three and uh, from this entire data so top three uh, what to say piece of text so this is one then this is second and this is third so it's it, it actually ranked and imagine like if you are using an embedding technique here we would have got maybe this paragraph on the top so which which it's talking about uh, who is Billy Eilish? Because the first two piece of text is purely talking about Billy Eilish songs and everything, but uh, we are actually uh, passing uh, Billy Eilish as the keyword. So that's the reason why it is actually not even looking at. And another thing is, uh, even if we do, even if we ma give that intent, a frequency based technique like this will not be able to solve that problem. So that's the difference. And once we have this data ready, then we can. Finally, we can plug in the 
question answering model and you can use any model from uh, hugging face transformers like any, any implementation you can actually use but i'm just using some maybe this may be old like there are so many new uh, question answering models which are like extremely good so you can use any of the models and i'm just applying the answer question answering function and if we run this so this this does actually gives a answer against so what is happening is like we are creating the answer against each of the questions so who is billy ellis is now asked against each of these ranked data ideally so each of these ranked data we are actually running it and finally we are getting she is a singer singer songwriter singer and songwriter which is extremely good we are getting the results basically so now ideally what's happening like from uh, entire data we queried out some very important piece of information and from that important piece of information which we ranked we are finally applying the question answering model so that's the reason why we are getting this data very precise and this is applicable to lot of questions actually so if we are applying a pipeline like this not necessarily the same thing but maybe you can try out so many innovative approaches like as i said you can uh, bring in the intent so then here we can apply the context based so like this will give a lot more confidence in the final answer which we are getting so the answer which we got is extremely correct actually like who is billy elchi she is a sing singer and a songwriter so this is what uh, we have to actually kind of uh, we can we can build using all these kind of uh, techniques so uh, that's that's it for today and uh, if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to me over linkedin and youtube and thanks a lot for watching this video bye